Hi everybody, so today I am reviewing the Illustrated Bible. It is a dramatic reading of God's story. This one's done by Jeff Anderson and Mike Maddox. This one is a hardcover edition. It measures out at 10 and 3 8 inches tall by 7 and 3 8 inches wide, and it is just a half an inch thick. Just has plain white paper page edges, which is typical for a hardcover book, but we can see that it does have nice head and tail bands, and this one does have a sewn binding, so it is going to hold up. On the spine, we have the Illustrated Bible, Anderson and Maddox, and the Hendrickson logo. On the back, we're going to see some information about the Illustrated Bible, so you could always pause and read that if you would like. And then we will have an example of the artwork that we're going to see inside. There's a little bit of information on both Jeff Anderson and Mike Maddox in case you would like to look up some of their other work. This one is done by Hendrickson Bibles. Here is our ISBN number. This one does retail for $16.95 and you can definitely find it for less online and I will put a link in the description box as well. So let's take a look at the inside. So we can see right off the bat that we're not even into the Bible and it lays perfectly flat so they did design it really well that way and it's great that it lays flat like this because for kids and the target audience they might want to sit at the table maybe a coffee table or even lay on the floor and it's going to lay flat for them no matter where they're at so we've got our title page and then we have our contents and so this is not going to have the full Bible in it. It's just going to have some of the more popular stories. So we can see that we've got the story of creation and Noah, Joseph and Moses. And then in the New Testament, we're going to have the life of Jesus as far as his birth and baptism, his teachings and healings. And then on the bottom there, we've got a little bit of the publisher's information, but a lot of really neat popular stories. So this would be a great one to get for kids, maybe some teenagers, or even if you have an adult that you know that might be older but maybe has some type of disability to where mentally it puts them at a much younger age, this might even be helpful for them to get interested in the Bible. So on our first page, you can see that it's just black, and then in our little box there, it just simply says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then we get into the creation story where God said, let there be light. So I'm going to show you this artwork up close and you can kind of see how it's done. But I do like the way that they've done the artwork in this. I think it looks really nice. It's eye-catching. I think the target audience would definitely like this type of Bible. Because you can't always give younger people just a text edition of the Bible and expect them to be interested in it because I mean they're kids they like to they learn visually and so this would be a great one to get for your kids for them to read to themselves but also maybe for you to read to your kids at bedtime get them interested in the Bible get them learning some of these Bible stories so I really like the way that they did this so on this page here it's going into the from the end of the creation story with Cain and Abel and then we get down to Noah so it's gonna say when God looked at the world he could only find one man who remained untouched by the atrocities and refused to accept the darkness that surrounded him and so then that's going to lead us on to the next page where it's going to lead us into the story of Noah and so I like the way that they've done these in you're going to have your typical as far as your plain boxes for text, but then the worded ones to where when they're speaking, they make it obvious that they're speaking. But just some great artwork, the way that they've done this. So I'll show you some of these pages up close, because I really do like the way that they did the story of Noah. I like the way that the artwork is done, especially in this picture here. I really like the looks of that. just a great way to get kids and younger people even maybe some teenagers who aren't into reading but maybe are into comic books that would be a great way to get them interested in reading the Bible 
Then we get into the story of Moses and when he was born and put in the basket, floated down the river. And so it just kind of brings these stories to life. So this would be great to, to read to your kids as well. And they've got great visuals as far as like the plagues. We've got the Passover where they painted the blood around the door. We can see the boils. But just a nicely done Bible. I like the way that they did this. And I think it's great that they're doing things like this to get the younger people interested in the Bible. Because to get someone to want to read it is hard enough as it is. But if you can get them to engage in it, this would be a great way to do that. So then we get into the story of Jonah, him falling off the boat. We can see him going into the fish. And so it just brings it to life. Then we're going to get into the section where we're going to move into the New Testament. So they're talking about there will be a messenger of he ahead of him. When you see him, you'll know God is on his way. And then we get into the story as far as there was a man called John. He himself was not the light, but came as a witness to the light. And so then we that's going to move us into the story of Mary being told that she's going to conceive. And then we're going to get into the birth of Jesus. And so just a great, great way for the younger people to get involved in the Bible. So I'll just flip through a few of these pages so you can kind of see some more examples of the artwork but they did a really good job with this so it would be a great Christmas gift to grab some have some on hand for the holiday season and maybe give some to people who have kids so the kids could either read them themselves or the parents could read them and so we can see here in the center of the Bible here, we see the stitching. So it does have a nice sewn binding, so it is going to hold up. But it doesn't matter where you're at in it, it's going to lay perfectly flat no matter where you are. So that is really nice. I do like the way that they did that. I think they did a great job with it. And I would definitely recommend this. So again, this has been the Illustrated Bible, a dramatic reading of God's story by Jeff Anderson and Mike Maddox. There again is our ISBN number, and I will put a link for it in the description box. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.